Okay, are you going to make a pussy cat today? I'm making a moose. Is it elk? Canadian elk? Moose? Just a moose. I don't know where the moose came from, but it was a French dish. So, that's the actual uh, recipe, yes. which we have it here. I will stop on it. You can stop it also and, and have a look. But this is also in the description of the video. I'll place it there so anybody who wants to have a good read of it, you can read it in the description below. So the ingredients are chocolate, two packs. Yeah, cooking chocolate. Cooking chocolate. Which okay. is about three, yeah, 300 grams on you. you have to put it but right you there. can use less if you don't want it so intensely made. Okay, you can use white chocolate also. You can, yeah, but use cooking chocolate because it's got more cocoa butter than solids. Yeah. And that cooking means, white chocolate. Yeah. Six eggs. Just for different parts of it, you can use, of course. Salted butter, or they can use unsalted butter. If too. they want, it's yeah. up to them. They can use any margarine? No. No, okay. This is sugar, normal sugar, yeah. granulated. Yeah, granulated. Double cream. Yeah. Uh, vanilla extract, you can use rose water, anything that you like. You know, it doesn't need to be this, whatever flavor you like. Lemon juice. And these are the ingredients that we use to make this, uh, what was it? Pass it. Nice. Moose. So, you start by boiling some water. How much water it is? Just, just enough for this to get to the bottom. Oh, you're not using it. No, no, no. I, I forgot what they called this. Um, I'm water to, bath. You're yeah, water I, bath. yeah, water bath because I'm putting in the chocolate into this uh -huh. right i'm melting it now you can melt it straight from the heat mm -hmm. but it might burn the bottom oh, okay that's clever because that will not boil more than 100 degree yeah that so you will have that the right could, temperature you could burn so the you're using to melt this so i'm using this now this is cooking chocolate and it's just an ordinary supermarket one mm -hmm. but the difference between cooking chocolate and the chocolate you eat is the amount of cocoa butter that's in it is it more or less much more oh. it's less cocoa solid and more cocoa butter which gives it the ability to melt now this isn't going to melt yet because this water isn't boiling I know, it's not but i'm just breaking up now you can use any amount of chocolate you want for this recipe i'm doing you could use about 200 to 300 grams the choice is yours how rich you want the chocolate so you are using uh, 300 grams of cooking I, I'm chocolate. I'm using 300 grams and I'm using... So uh, the weight is written on this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This Each one, one of them yeah. is 150. One on, this, is, this is what you'll buy in the supermarket. All the cooking chocolate is a standard weight. Oh, that's And it will always come in at 150 grams. But you can always break it into how much you want i'm having a very rich chocolate but you can have much less okay yeah now i'm i'm now melting the chocolate okay. and what do you call this a stage well this is called melting the chocolate melting stage chocolate, yeah. <laughs> it's melting the chocolate stage 200 grams of chocolate i've got 300 here yeah while that's doing i'm going to add 50 grams of butter Okay. Now I can just slice off 50 grams because it's a little tip. This butter mm -hmm. measures 10 centimeters across. So if you get, so that's 25, uh, it's 25 grams for every centimeter of oh. butter. So if you want 50, you just get about two, like two, um, you get 50, two, two, so just remember, two centimetres is 50 grams. Oh, okay. so you <laughs> so, want 50 grams or two centimetres? Yeah, you? so I'm just getting a knife. So you have about two centimetres, so that'd be about that much, wouldn't it? About two centimetres. Yeah. So this would be about 50 grams. There. Yeah. Okay, so just put it in the chocolate now because it's beginning to melt. Okay, now you're giving it a stir. A little stir, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'll leave that for a okay, second. You're now separating the eggs. Yeah. Because all the egg fell down. Just... Well, I'll come up it up then, won't I? Mm -hmm. um, 
There you go. Oh, that's the exaprator. Mm. Oh, such an easy thing. Yeah, so I got this little thing. We have a video about when we unboxed it. Oh, did we? Oh, we did, didn't we? Yeah, I hate this equipment. You can do it by hand if you don't have this device. You just have to use your hand. Well, you can use a spoon, can't you? Just, just use the spoon. But I use this anyway, just because I've got one. And these are the things. eggs from our own chicken, right? They are certainly eggs from They're our own eggs. Yeah. Homegrown. Homegrown eggs, homegrown chickens. They were rescued chickens. We rescued them from a factory farm and they're lovely. Brought them back to life and they lay our sex every day now, those little hens. Happy as the proverbial Larry. Oops. Okay, go. so now you have four yolks. One. Okay. And then just mix that in. One up. Mix it in very gently uh -huh. yeah, because you don't want to have scrambled egg in. You really have to mix the egg in. So I'm going to change my spatula from this wooden one to this little one. And you can see, look, see mm -hmm. the difference. <laughs> These. Um, Oh, it's more yeah, accurate and yeah. detailed. It's silicon. So you can see the silicon. The silicon spatulas are as sharp as knives when you use them to stir. You don't waste anything on them. So, like I said, I'll leave this on just for a few minutes. A couple of, when I say a few minutes, I mean just one or two minutes. You have uh, turned off the heat at the moment. No, I've turned it down right turned down it to down. number okay. one, yeah. So you have to make sure that no trace of that uh, yellow yolk is visible. No trace is visible, it's all blended in. But you don't want any of the chocolate to burn or go dry or sit on the bottom. Mm -hmm. That is the one thing that you do not What want. happens if you use pure chocolate? I mean, the most pure chocolate Well, it'd be get. very rich and 80. it'd take longer to melt. Oh, okay. And you'd have to use more butter. Mm -hmm. So you'll get the same recipe anyway. We are in the stage two now. This is stage two. Now you don't need a fancy one like this. A fancy this. one like this. You can even use it whisked with a spoon if you don't have no, anything. No, you can't. Or, or fork? No. How you they could. did it in the past? Well, they probably got the housemates to spend hours doing this. Oh, okay. It takes a uh, long time. With electric, you really need an electric whisk, whether it's handheld or whether it's freestanding like this one. So we don't need to use a scale. How you do it then without a scale? Well, you could use a tablespoon. And these are twenty-five grams. Oh, the yeah. spoons that are measuring actually. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So I'm just going to add this here. And that's a whisk here. Yeah, that's each spoon. So that's one, two. And it's a little bit just in case. But you can vary the sugar to the sweetness you like. It's not, an, as I said, this isn't an exact science. No, no. nothing pot, goes wrong, you know, in, no. in a sense. It's a just that you, you, you may not like it very sweet or somebody may like it very sweet. So this is the egg white that you had. And it doesn't matter if it has a little trace of the yellow yolk in it. And now you add the... Couple of splashes of that. Uh, done it. And um, what you have added here? What? Well, what I'm actually doing, I'm just testing to see if it's actually peaked, which it has. <laughs> that you have added volume to it. It looks so uh, big yeah, now. Yeah, this is actually frothing and having foam well, in it. Well, actually, this meringue here, yeah, it's meringue. You, if you wanted to make meringue. That is it. You just get this out of the whisk and put it straight into the oven. Mm. And I think the recipe, the, uh, it's about 20 minutes for, uh, yeah, just, just about 20 minutes at about 150 degrees. You want the meringue or till it goes golden. So now that's the time for the rest of it. Go yeah. to the, you mix it now with the chocolate. Melted chocolate and the chocolate. butter. There we go. Look how this is. Look. Look how, how light. 
fluffy it is. Oh, good. And we only did this for about two minutes flat on one of these. It take, like I said, you need it like this. So if you do have a hand whisk, you know, an electric hand whisk, it will take a little while longer. But yeah, I mean, I've done it with hand whisk before. So I've got this one. So, if, like I said, you can do this as a meringue. Yes, now what you are doing? This is how you actually fold it in. That is called folding, <laughs> mixing, you mean? Yeah, you fold it in. That's you do it with the hand. You do. Now we're in stage three. So, we've made chocolate glaze, we made meringue that you can easily bake in the oven, and now this is chantilly cream that mm -hmm. you can use for anything cakes and um, to put inside cakes on top of cakes with dessert the thing first thing is yeah is to pour this cream i don't know let's see now this is 600 mils it's a lot so i only need half of this i'm only going to pour half of this in here simply because 600 grams is 600 mils is far too much so that would be it that's about three, look, put in the middle. That's 200, 400, three. Oh. I'm pepper, aren't I? Yeah, you are. <laughs> now, the other thing is this sugar. You can use powdered sugar, which is icing sugar, or you can use... Can we use honey if you don't want to use sugar? No, you can't. No, no, no. The, the reason why you don't use honey is simply because you will make it... Can we use the slimming sugar? No, you can't. Okay, you are going now to whisk it. Oh, yes, but there's something I forgot. <laughs> Do you want to add it now or you can add it later? Uh, I prefer to add it now, but I can add it later. It's up to you. Yeah, it's up to me. Um, I've just got two, two of these. That's vanilla. You can add rose water if you want or any other flavour in that. Well, you if you wish, I can do that. Now, rose water, for those of you who may not know, what rose water tastes like. If you've ever ate Turkish Delight, then that's made from rose water. That is the rose water. Oh, I can smell it. Oh, so nice. Okay. Oh, wow. Well, what you do, you just keep it going until. Oh, it's made it thick. Again, like, like this, like the meringue. <laughs> okay, now let's I'm go. I'm just taking the middle out because it's easy. So this is Chantilly cream. So if you want to make yourself a lovely whipped cream cake without buying the artificial stuff, that's how you make it. Just remember double cream. About 300 mils of double cream and one tablespoon of sugar and whatever you wish for those of you who think that she's doing all of it look at it she leaves the hard work for me i'm folding it now staring it as she or she called she called it folding yeah. i am doing the job oh how nice you have done it darling yeah and that's how it should be so we'll start putting this up in our dessert bowls oh and these are some of our own produce that we can use for decorating it. Some uh, cherry, Stella, some black currant, uh, some uh, white currant, some um, tayberry, and a few gooseberry. If you want, we can use more, but these are the ones that we are using. You can use as you like, or don't use at all if you don't want to. Okay, now you are doing this, darling. Oh, I can see. So nice. So rightly you have decided to actually wait that it solidifies a little, little bit, then uh, decorate it with the fruit in a better way without getting a, a sticky, what was it, mousse they sink. all over the your hands. You cannot get any of these things in the shop. Uh, the currants, white currant, red currant, they are not sold in the shop. You have to grow it yourself. No matter, you are the queen or the king or president or prime minister. If you don't grow it, you will not have the chance to taste it. You have to grow it. These are the, these are the things you cannot, you know, buy in the shop. They're not commercially viable. I'm sure around the world people have such things also that you have specifically to grow it yourself. And our viewers around the world will know 
of their own, you know, local delicacies and fruits. Put a little leaf. Oh, there. you're <laughs> putting a little leaf there. You can put a mint. The other time you put a mint. I did put a mint. Also, the leaf of the currants can be eaten, actually. They're mm. nice. So they have the same flavor as that yeah, or the smell little, of it. Little leaf. Oh, I can see you have done it really beautiful. Okay. The art of... What is it? Moss making. Beautiful. Thank you, darling. Well, I've just been experimenting with different patterns and some of them turned out well and others not so well. But, um, you know, it, I'll get there in the end. Yeah. Anyway, they are going to be eaten. Well, they'll all get eaten in the end, yeah. But, um, beautiful. I must say that I didn't expect it such a beauty. And look at that. You added, I see. Oh, you're so Spigs tasteful. Of mint. Sprigs of mint you have added here. They are so beautiful. That, Thank you, you sweetheart. Can, that, that's edible and you can, can I ask you for a kiss? 